Your person searches for you everywhere, feeling your presence constantly and being riddled with guilt. They wander through familiar places and new ones alike, always hoping to catch a glimpse of you or feel your essence. Every corner of their world is saturated with memories of you, and the weight of their remorse is almost unbearable. They are in their fields, taking out their frustration on the karmic people around them because these individuals, no matter how present or attentive, are not you. Their interactions with others become strained as they project their inner turmoil outward, unable to reconcile their feelings or find solace. The realization has dawned on them that you are irreplaceable. No one else can fill the void you left behind. Your person is now returning to offer you more, with a renewed sense of commitment. They want to make it official because they can sense that you are moving ahead and losing hope in this connection. The fear of losing you forever propels them into action. They are now determined to chase you, putting aside their pride and previous indecisiveness. Meanwhile, you are enjoying your solitude, immersing yourself in activities that nurture your spirit and enhance your creativity. This period of self-discovery and growth has been crucial for you, allowing you to regain your strength and perspective. The pain they caused you still lingers, but you have found ways to cope and thrive despite it. They hurt you deeply, and now they can't live without you. The roles have reversed in a way that has left them grappling with their own sense of inadequacy and desperation. You told them, feed your own ego. I will be busy and happy in my own little world. These words, spoken or perhaps conveyed through telepathy, encapsulate your resolve to prioritize your own happiness and well-being. Your person underestimated you, ignored you, and misjudged you, and now they regret it deeply. They see now how they completely read you wrong, failing to appreciate your worth and the depth of your connection. Their in and out behavior wore you down, leaving you exhausted and disillusioned. You reached a point where you could no longer tolerate the uncertainty and emotional upheaval. Recognizing this, your person is filled with regret and a newfound determination to change. They know you are fed up with their inconsistent actions and are committed to proving their sincerity. A new life is emerging for both of you from these toxic endings. The tumultuous experiences you endured are giving way to a fresh start, one that holds the promise of healing and transformation. An important new beginning is set to bring you both together into union, aligning you with the deeper purpose of your journey. This soul mission, which has guided you through trials and tribulations, is now leading you toward a harmonious and fulfilling partnership. The growth you both experienced individually has prepared you for this reunion. Your person, having learned valuable lessons from their mistakes, is ready to approach the relationship with a renewed sense of dedication and respect. As you move forward, the wounds of the past will serve as reminders of your resilience and the strength of your bond. Together, you will navigate this new chapter, building a future that honors the love and connection you share. The road ahead may still have its challenges, but the foundation you have laid through your individual journeys will support you in overcoming them. This time, the commitment is mutual and unwavering, fueled by the recognition of what truly matters. I've tried talking to others about how I feel about you, but they just don't understand our connection. It's as if they can't grasp the depth of what we share, the unique bond that ties us together. Believe me, I would do anything to be with you again. The thought of being close to you, of feeling your presence, is something I long for with every fiber of my being. When you talk to others, I can't help but feel a pang of jealousy. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that my feelings for you are so strong that I struggle to control them. I get consumed by this overwhelming sense of possessiveness, and it eats away at me. I know that we are stronger together, that our connection is something special, 
something that goes beyond the ordinary. I know more about you than you might think, and I cherish every little detail. I don't know how to come forward without making a fool of myself. Every time I think about approaching you, my mind fills with doubt and uncertainty. I replay all the times I've pushed you away, and I regret every single one of them. I know that I've hurt you, and that thought breaks my heart. I've spent so much time thinking about you, more than I've ever thought about myself. Your happiness, your well-being, your presence in my life, these are the things that matter most to me. Sometimes, I wish I could be a fly on the wall. I want to see what you're up to, to understand your life better, without drawing attention to myself. It's not that I want to invade your privacy, I just want to be closer to you in any way possible. My heart has been broken many times by others, and I've built walls to protect myself. But love has a way of sneaking in when you least expect it. They say true love comes unexpectedly, and I was shocked when I fell in love with you. It was like a lightning bolt, sudden and electrifying, and it changed everything. I see others are attracted to you, and I don't like the attention you are getting. It's not just jealousy, it's a deep-seated fear that someone else might take you away from me. My pain goes away when I think about you, when I imagine a future where we are together. I have never loved anyone the way I love you. This love is all-consuming, it fills every corner of my heart and soul. When I think back to the moments we've shared, I realize how much they mean to me. Every smile, every touch, every word spoken between us is etched into my memory. I replay those moments in my mind, drawing comfort from them. It's as if those memories are a lifeline, keeping me connected to you even when we're apart. I've tried to move on, to focus on other things, but nothing seems to compare to the way I feel about you. It's as if there's a part of me that's missing, and only you can complete it. I've talked to friends, family, even strangers, hoping that someone might understand, might give me some advice. But no one truly gets it. They don't understand the depth of my feelings, the intensity of my love for you. I've often wondered what you're doing, what you're thinking. Are you as consumed by thoughts of me as I am of you? Do you miss me the way I miss you? These questions haunt me, keeping me up at night. I want to reach out, to tell you everything that's in my heart, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid of rejection, of making things worse, of losing you forever. Despite all the fear and uncertainty, there's one thing I know for sure, my love for you is real. It's not just a passing infatuation or a fleeting crush. It's a deep, abiding love that has taken root in my heart and refuses to let go. It's a love that has grown stronger over time, despite the distance and the obstacles. I dream of a future where we are together, where we can build a life full of love and happiness. I imagine waking up next to you, sharing our dreams and fears, supporting each other through thick and thin. I believe that we are meant to be together, that our love is strong enough to overcome any challenges. So, here I am, pouring out my heart, hoping that somehow, these words will reach you. I want you to know that you are the most important person in my life, that I love you more than words can express. No matter what happens, my feelings for you will never change. I will always cherish the moments we've shared and hold on to the hope that one day, we will be together again. Your love, care, and presence are irreplaceable and unmatched by anything or anyone. It's impossible to compare the depth of what you bring into my life with anything I have ever known before. I am truly sorry for all those times I misunderstood you. Reflecting on our past interactions, I realize that I projected my insecurities onto you, not because of any fault of yours, but because I was unwilling to face my own shadow side. 
I used you as a mirror for my fears and doubts, making you the unintended target of my unresolved issues. You have a remarkable ability to ask questions that pierce through the surface, reaching the deeply buried parts of my psyche. These questions have often revolved around things I have suppressed since childhood. When you brought them up, I would feel a surge of anger and frustration. Those questions triggered me because they touched on old wounds I wasn't ready to acknowledge or confront. Yet, amidst the anger, I also felt a profound sense of emotion, knowing that there was someone in my life who could see my pain and understand me in ways I didn't think possible. Despite this deep connection, my fear of vulnerability and rejection kept me running away from you and the love you offered. The idea of opening up my heart completely, exposing my raw and unfiltered self, terrified me. I feared that if you saw the real me, with all my flaws and imperfections, you might reject me. This fear was so overpowering that I often chose to distance myself rather than risk the potential pain of rejection. My defense mechanism was to push you away, to create a barrier between us that I thought would protect me from being hurt. In hindsight, I see how unfair this was to you. You have been nothing but a gem, real, authentic, and loving. Your genuine nature and unwavering support have been a constant in my life, something I have come to cherish deeply. I love everything about you, from your kindness to your authenticity. You have shown me a love that is both rare and beautiful, a love that accepts me for who I am, even when I struggle to accept myself. However, there is one thing that I find incredibly challenging, when you ignore me or choose not to talk to me. During those times, I feel a profound sense of loss and confusion. It's as if a part of me is missing, and the world feels a little colder and more distant. Your absence leaves a void that is hard to fill, and it makes me realize just how much I depend on your presence in my life. Moving forward, I want to work on my fears and insecurities. I want to face my shadow side and address the unresolved issues from my past. I understand that for our relationship to thrive, I need to be more open and vulnerable, even if it scares me. I am committed to growing and evolving, not just for myself but for us. You deserve a partner who can meet you with the same level of authenticity and love that you have consistently shown me. I want you to know how much you mean to me. Your love, care, and presence are invaluable, and I am grateful for everything you have brought into my life. I am sorry for the times I have hurt you and for the moments I let my fears dictate my actions. You are a remarkable person, and I am incredibly fortunate to have you in my life. I love you deeply, and I am committed to becoming a better partner one who can embrace vulnerability and love with an open heart.